been a couple weeks since I posted a video. I got into crunch mode. That happens about three or four times a year. I have an obligation to my employer to meet my project deadlines, and that's what happens. So everything else in my life goes bye-bye. I focus on my project deadlines. If you've done any industry work or college, right? Lots of deadlines. You have to meet them. Uh, I've always been told that it's better for people to think that you're a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. But obviously somebody who commented on my video here, their parents did not teach them the same thing. Let me show you. Remember this video, Teach My Kid to Code? A little project I tried doing with uh, one of my coworkers, Steve. Uh, we, we had some kids sign up, we taught them how to code, and we decided, you know what? Teaching kids how to code is not the way to go for us. It's like herding cats. If you've ever tried to herd cats, uh, here, look, 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 let's see, right? I can't remember where it's at. It's gonna pop up right here. Here's the herding cat video, go watch that, uh, and then come back. Uh, but Steve and I, we tried doing this, and no, we're not gonna do that again. I, I love teaching my own kids to code. I think it's incredibly important for all people to learn how to code because it is literacy for today. Back in the day, if you didn't know how to read and write, you were ignorant. Okay, well, a lot of people can consume apps today, but they can't write apps today, right? We consume these electronic devices, computers, phones, tablets, all that stuff everywhere, and yet we're illiterate. We can't write for them. So anyway, blah, 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 I, I go on. I digress. Look, all right, this video, I had a comment last night. Piper Bacon. Ha, 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 ha. Was that kid just copying code off that paper? Ha, 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 All right, uh, Piper, you just flipped what I call is the jerk bit. Okay, in fact, I actually hear it called the dick bit, but I try to keep things on this channel nice and clean. So I'm trying to keep the language clean here. Let's keep it all clean. You flip the jerk bit. And once you flip the jerk bit, it is incredibly hard to flip that bit back. And I'm not gonna allow you to keep commenting on my channel. You keep doing these things. All right, watch, watch. I'm not gonna do this right now, but oh, you are so clue, close. I can come over here and say, remove this comment. Remove spam or abuse. Hide user from the channel. You know what happens when I click that? It vaporizes all your comments off my channel, puts me in full control, because this is my channel, not your channel. And, and basically you can't comment anymore on my channel. Anyway, look, I, I don't know if you meant to be how you sound here. You need to be careful on paper. Maybe you meant, oh, was that kid just copying code off of paper? You know, or I don't know what you tried to, but, but really the way it's written here, when you write it and you type it, I can't get the inflections. I can't get the meaning off of what you actually said. I get to interpret it how I want to. And I interpreted this as a jerk thing you said. So you just, Ooh, you got me out of bed this morning, which is a good thing. I saw this pops up on my phone. Somebody comment on your video. Oh, just, ha, ha, ha. Was that code just, was that kid code, code, kid, was that kid copying code off of, what? Hmm? All right. Uh, <laughs> look, here's the timestamp you're talking about. This is my daughter. All right. She's saying with me in the uh, Christmas uh, video. Look, Christmas video link. Uh, on one of these sides, I can't remember which side it comes up on. All right. Uh, and this is, I don't know, two years ago. I teaching her how to code. And yes, she is copying code off this paper. All right. Unfortunately for her, my daughter has a father that teaches her how to code using paper instead of computers. All right. I have one such paper here. This is kind of an older one. But look, you can see I make her do all her coding on paper. And not only do I make her do it on paper, I make her execute it on paper. You see all this stuff down here at the bottom? Yep, yep, you can see that. I have her set up her memory uh, as she goes line by line. In fact, I do this with my son too. I do this with all my kids. They do all their coding on paper. And then as they execute the code one by one, they have to maintain an instruction pointer. And before they execute the instruction, uh, they have to tell me what will change every time. They know that's the question they have to answer before they move their paper, pencil, instruction pointer. They have to say, Daddy, this is what's going to change. This memory location will change this value, or this will print to the screen, or blah, 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 blah. And I force them to think. All right, my kids have a father that forced them to think and understand their code 
before they type it into the computer. My kids have to execute that code on paper before they have the computer execute that code. Right? It's arduous. It takes forever. It's hard. It's long. But I tell you what, my kids understand this stuff inside and out before they even put it into the computer. And when they put it into the computer and they execute it on the computer, all they're doing is verifying that their understanding is correct. So if you want to laugh and say, oh, is that kid coding on paper? You know what? My kids have a parent that teach them how to code, execute on paper, teach them to be respectful, to think before they open their mouth, unlike what you just did here on my channel. Write the code on paper, execute the code on paper, understand what's going on, because this is how I learned when I was in college. The computer doing everything for me didn't do me any good. All right, I had to write all the code on paper, I had to execute it on paper, and that's what made me understand. All right, now the 99% of you watching my videos on this channel are awesome. I know about 10, 20% of you are advanced, and then the rest of you are learning, and you want to be advanced, but you're not there. And you know what I love to see is when you all comment, regardless of whether you're advanced or not advanced, and you help each other out. All right, this goes back to that Silicon Valley attitude. I was just there two days ago and I was around GDC and I was talking to people and oh, it's just so wonderful. Everybody's just helping each other out, answering questions friendly. Not everybody. Okay, you got the one or two that are just jerks and but the rest are just, it doesn't matter. You're advanced, you're not advanced. Let's help each other out, collaborate. My channel is a safe haven for those of you trying to be a rock star but are just starting out at the bottom. You wanna learn, you wanna grow, go ahead, comment ask questions, I'll answer them. The other viewers will answer them. If any viewers are jerks or mean or flip that jerk bit, which is nearly impossible to flip back, I'll just ban them. Right, I'll kick them right off the channel. No big deal. Because this is a safe haven for the rest of you. And the one or two of you that want to be jerks or trolls, get out. We don't need you here. Ah, angry Jamie!